Napoli. Emerging for this crucial group game here, the tournament still in its relative infancy, but it is already developing into quite a spectacle, and that, of course, is what you expect from this, the greatest of all the tournaments. It has been terrific stuff so far, so let us hope the trend continues here and now. This game, of course, brought to you amid the glitz and glamour of the Principality of Monaco, a quite unique setting. Monaco have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. Well, the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence and attack. With many shaky defences about, getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply. So playing two strikers can, um, can be a real help to this team. I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. So that's got things on the way. Forward it goes. Gilson Martins. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Una. Now it's Mertens. Golovin, Gilson Martins. He goes long. Let's follow. And he's onside. Iniesta. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Balotore, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Foden plays it forward. Massive leap! Goal, Napoli! And it's Napoli who take the lead. A lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Napoli take the lead, 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. He's got through. Surely a shot. Una. Merton. Has a pop! Knocks it away. Iniesta! And here's the chance to counter. Jovetic tries to get it forward quickly. He's got away. Lays it out to the flank. Crossed in. Cut out in the nick of time. Golovin.
He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Lozano hits one. He has done it. All too easy. They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things. Just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Napoli have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. The referee's awarded a free kick. Maximovic, Meunier, Foden, now it's Jovetic, gets it back, Lozano, Iniesta, Una, played out to the right, Unas provides an outlet, No messing about, just bludgeoned away. Lozano. Napoli. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. has got good distance on that well, well played he saw that coming Meunier Una now it's Mertens Fauzi Goulam and there is the half-time whistle any opinion you'd like to express on the first half well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Napoli in control at half-time, Goulam, Lozano, well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority, uh, a cause of mild frustration. Una gets the better of his man, and here's Mertens, Lozano hoists it forward. to stroke it through and they're not going to make any further progress now has he picked him out that's it and now what left it into the middle Meunier and it's played forward that's the sort of defending that is going to upset the opposition. It already has, actually. Yeah, now that he's scored, this defence 
is on high alert whenever he, he goes anywhere near the ball. And it's Iniesta. Gulam. Diving header! <laughs> Iniesta crosses. Timely intervention. Ben Yedda. Gelson Martins. Ben Yedda. Goalkeeper's ball. Iniesta. And helps available out wide. He's got away. Aimed in toward. Has a hit! Balu Torre gets rid without sophistication. Mertens has a shot! Just too high. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Another change here. Gilson Martins. Gilson Martins battles to win it back. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Lozano tries the volley. Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. That's gone a long way up and away. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Gulan. Lozano. Foden. Well, Red, he sorted that out. Monaco going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Leading by two and the finishing line in sight. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Oh, that's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Meunier. Di Maria. Lovely bit of skill. Time to deliver. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. And it's fallen. It's a brilliant interception. Has he found his man? And that is that. Napoli can be very happy with a job well done. An efficient win, for which the players simply did enough. You look back on the game then, Jim. Look, we saw some textbook football from wide areas that continued to produce expansive attacking play that was ultimately too hard to handle. They were simply too good in, in the wide areas. And if that wasn't hard enough for the opposition, the link-up play was outstanding too.